Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Josh, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm here with some more Blockville FTB, and today, we are actually working on the house. So you guys can see here, uh, I've been actually doing a bunch of work on the house, and what we have, as my dogs bark behind me, what we have here is a bunch of different stones that I thought looked pretty good, as well as a stream last night. So um, right here is the fitted quarry stone as our stairs, and our center with these fitted infernal stone and then on here we're gonna be using this fitted sandy stone not this red rock and then I'm still contemplating I might remove this nether brick because it does not really match these big but nether brick for right now will be in there and then up here we have this fitted infernal stone as well with these large glowstone bricks which is awesome they kind of fit all together and it looks great so with that being said, as you guys can probably tell, the recipes for this stuff are probably not the easiest. A lot of these ores I'm making are not naturally occurring, so I have to actually craft them myself, meaning that it's a little bit of work. So what we need to do in this episode is get ourselves a bunch of this stuff settled. And doing that is not the easiest thing in the world, but we can get it done. Uh, it's going to require a bunch of trips to the nether and a bunch of trips just in general. So what we need to do right now is turn this stuff into nether brick. You guys see we got about 32 nether brick, we go like that, 16, and now we got 18 infernal stones. So you can see how much it just requires, because that's only 18 infernal stone, and we need to fill in this whole ceiling, and I believe we need to do all this over here and over there too. So we got a good amount of... Um, stone work we got to do but I say let's finish up the flooring first before we get started on the ceiling and let's get one part of it done so hopefully we have enough to finish up this flooring uh, minus the staircases obviously um, so this comes around like that goes up and then this right here and right there and then those there. And then up here is actually my new plan. Um, it's going to have a balcony that goes out. There's going to be a balcony here as well as an indoor so you can walk out plus inside. And it's going to be all covered um, in glass, you know, like a glass dome. But I kind of like that. I'm not. It may not be covered in glass, but it's going to be kind of like a circular area. And then you also get that view to the outside. So, let's see. That's nice and good head down here and let's see what we got so what I do think is that we have to head to the nether again and unfortunately before we head there we have to make a bunch of pickaxes and we're also going we have another shovel so we'll be fine with that um, we need some more sticks and why am I in my furnace So let's make two pickaxes. Boom. Okay. And there we go. We got ourselves a little bit of food. And we got some nether brick. Alright, so let's head into the nether again. And actually, how many arrows? I don't actually need a bow right now, so it shouldn't really matter. Okay, so let's see if there's any food out here. I think we should be fine on food for being in there for a little bit. Okay. And I don't know if I showed you guys, but I actually found a portal gun yesterday during the stream, which is awesome. Uh, let's see. Let's take this portal gun out, and let's actually reset it. Shoot one right there, and then we'll throw it into here. This here's our extra storage. If we die, we won't lose it. I have the hiccups. So this right here is ash, and um, you can use ash to make some other things. For example, coal. And ash is really good for coal. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mine a bunch of this out, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I got a little bit of it. You can see I cleared out this area a good amount. But what I want to do now is actually go look for some of this ash. Because I'm running low on coal back at the house. And like I was saying before, ash is fantastic for uh, creating coal. But it does require quite a bit to make it. So typically you find ash over on the sides of things so 
uh, in the sides of lava pools. And I'm also going to collect these things, these power ores, because I'm hoping to get into dark craft. And um, of course, I'm going to take these too, but I'm not going to really worry about them right now. But here's some more power ore. And what is this? Okay, there's this guy. He's just annoying. They like to just jump at you and annoy you. Um, looks like I got a, the ash out of here, so let's keep going this way. Uh, let's see. There's some ash right there. So you can see the ash kind of looks different, and you sink into it. But what you need for it is a shovel. And you get these things right here. They're a pile of ashes. And them alone can generate or make fuel, but if you combine them, it makes coal. So that's nice. It's something about the nether now. I just really like it. It's not something that I'm, like, annoying to go into. It's not... It's a little more dangerous as one, but there's so much more in it now. And it's not like, oh, let's go to the nether to get this, to get that. And have a boring time and do this and do that. Now let's go to the nether. Let's find some things. Let's explore. Let's mine some ores. Let's... Like, look at this. Nether quartz. I know this is 1.5.2, but that's still awesome. And now we can use this here for um, ME, which is awesome as well. My head itches. What is this? It's a blue glow shroom. And what are these things? What is this? A glow shroom? Like, come on, that's just awesome. There's some ash up there. Let's just look for more ash on the ground. Um, as well as ash, I'm also looking for um, glowstone, because I need to make some more of that glowstone bricks. But I really need this ash to um, finish up my inventory. Not my inventory, but finish up and get enough coal, because what we have to do with each of these nether rack is smelt it to make um, nether brick, uh, nether bricks. And then the nether bricks can be used to make nether blocks. So, nether brick. Never, nether bricks? Nether, I don't know what they're called. Stop, stop criticizing me. <laughs> okay, you can see here's some more ash. How much inventory space do we have? I wish we had a pocket crafting table. That'd be really cool right now. But let's head up here. Let's get this glowstone from over here. I'm really hoping, supposedly Darkcraft is not working on the server, but I saw, um, what's his name using it yesterday? Uh, Bacon using it on his stream, and he was on Blockville, so I'm not sure if it's working or not at this moment. Uh, but I'm hoping, I, I think that everything besides the enchanting works, so I'd be down to get enough materials to, um, to get to use it once we get the enchanting working but we should definitely get started on that that's what one of our little mini rooms that I was planning I didn't tell you my ideas exactly but we're gonna have mini rooms I don't know if I said that at last episode uh, correct me if I'm wrong but how much was that a little more than a stack okay so we need a little more glowstone avoid those things so let's see if we can find any more around huge lava pools don't really want to get into lava right now that'd be preferable preferable all right actually let's head back since we're kind of running low so let's go put a gun and then I always place a portal gun back in there just because I do not want to lose it That would suck right now if that just caught on fire. Alright. Back into a uh, house we go. Hi ho. You can see we're running kind of low on ash. So what I can do like this. Go like that. And boom. We get 7 coal. Now we get 14 coal. And now we get 21 coal. 23 coal. 30 coal. 37, 
and 44, 45 coal. We have 45 coal to continue our smelting process. So um, we'll break this into fourths, throw that in there, throw a stack in there, um, throw that in there, and throw that in there. Now, what we should do is, let's work on turning this, turn that into glowstone. Uh, we don't really need these red rocks on us. Uh, ash, we can make more. That quartz will go into the other guy. Um, that, that. Okay. Quartz over here. Over here, we got 49 uh, power for force gems, which is great. But what we need to do to craft these large glowstone bricks is like this. So we need to grab ourselves some this, go like that, and now we go like that. And there we go, we get 32 large glowstone bricks. So, oops, oops, oops. So you can see it goes like that. Now, what we want to do, what are we keeping this wall? Are we keeping it at a height of four all around? Okay, so that means I need to break this wall out one more higher here. So, go like this. I'm pretty sure that's what I made the general consensus, a height of four on the walls. So then we're gonna go one, two. And then, hmm, maybe we'll go like this, go one, two, one, two, and then we'll start this way with um, right here, one, two. Actually, we'll do it here, one, two. Yeah, that's how it should be anyway. And this has to be one higher here, too. And then this right here is going to be one, two. And let's come down here. One, two. I'll go. This has to be higher here as well. two here then one two then we'll go here and then we'll go here and then there look at that perfection right there okay so that's looking good Collect all these ores. Not even ores. Okay. So let's get this. And what we should do while that's going, is it nighttime still? No, it's daytime. Uh, let's see. Let's get some more food. And then we have to go find some more sand and clay. So let's grab some more berries because I'm hungry. Pretty sure I have a portal set here. Yeah, I do. I know I do. Okay, so what we're looking for is more, more sand and clay. So sand's underground here, and there's clay right there. Perfect, and let's go, let's get the sand. Mm. 
This is where I was mining it last time, so... Of course there's a portal right there. Here we go. Come on. All right, I'll be back once I have a good amount. All right, guys. Um, ran into a couple bug issues, as in a lot of mobs just want to attack me, and yeah. <laughs> so we're back, and here we go. Continuing on the house. What I'm doing now is just the flooring, or the walls. I finished up the flooring. Let's see, the flooring is done all the way up. Same on this side. So let's do the walls before moving on. So that needs to go there. And that there. And that. Let's see if I can get back there. And that right there, and that right there. Perfect. Boom, boom. Now we can finish this off here. And perfect. So you guys can see that's kind of what the wall is going to be like. I'm really liking that look. Um, we need more of this fitted sandy stone, but we're also going to need more of this fitted infernal stone, and we're going to need more nether bricks, so more trips to the nether, and more trips just in general to areas, which is not fun, but you can see it's kind of looking kind of pretty cool. Um, before we do any more, though, I do want to map out how long we're going to have this room up here. So as you guys can see, I do have kind of a plan. What I'm going to have it is uh, partly go outside. So it's gonna go one, two, three, then it's gonna go um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this way. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this way. That's the same length as that right there. So we can get rid of all this. About to break my pickaxe though. So that's what we're gonna have it, and then we're gonna have it. Uh, we have three here one, two, three. So one, two, three. Then here we're gonna have it glass on the edging right there. Actually, I have a, I have a better idea. Why don't we have it's gonna go like this? So we'll do the flooring, but right here, so it's gonna go um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, then um, eight, and then it comes in right here. Goes in like that. Okay, it's just gonna look a little differently because it's outside. So it goes in like that. And then it's going to go like this. And then like this. Let's get rid of this tree. in like that like that this should slowly start disintegrating that's gonna go um, one oh, we have another tree
Okay. So back up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. Let's get rid of this. Disintegrate faster, my god. Alright, and grab that sapling, grab this sapling, because saplings are always nice, especially when you're going to need them. Um, later. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay. That's looking even. I'm pretty sure that's even. So let's start. I'm going to start mining this out here and I'll be back. Boom. There we go. So now we have this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this fitted quarry stone. I believe we have a good amount left. And I'm going to start going some work up there so let's see um like that and like that and let's get some work done uh, i'm gonna do the same design except when it comes in here this here is going to become something else so i'm just gonna mark this out like this um i think i'm gonna do it around like this yeah so i'll be back once this is all done all right so that's what i have of that material we're gonna have to go get more of that and as you guys can see it's coming along pretty well um the ceiling needs to come up one higher so uh we'll do that in a couple minutes don't really feel like doing that right this second you can see down here let's just see how everything's going um the slime is actually edible as i found out so by the way do you like my top hat or my my hat <laughs> all right let's see anything cooked okay we got that cooked Okay, so we don't have any more sand on us. We need to go get more sand. Um, we also need to get... Um, go back to the nether and get more nether bricks. And we need to also get more of this fitted quarry stone. So, we've got quite a bit of work left to do. And... I say let's go to get this stone, finish this off first because it's the flooring, and then do that. So I'm going to go get some more of this fitted quarry stone, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so you can see I finished the flooring, and I got this going here. But now what I need to do is go get more sand and clay. It's an adventure, but it's looking good. It's looking good. Um, let's see. Let's continue this. I'm actually going to finish off with this nether brick. See, um... Okay, so we're gonna, let's do the wall in here. Walling like that. Okay, so we need more another brick. Again, like usual. But we also need to go get some more sand, and we need to go get some more, um... <clears throat> we need to go get some more sand and some more clay. So there we go. How much coal do we have? I believe we have a good amount of coal in each of these still. Sweet. So let's go on the hunt. wonder where this takes us. Okay. So let's see what we can find around here. There's sand right here. Perfect. What biome is this, by the way? Maple woods? That's kind of cool. This would have been a cool biome to lay into. The grass is a little dark for my liking, though. Oh, we want these for sure. All 
right? I'll be back once I get a good amount of this. Sweet, look what I found, guys. In mist of adventure, I have found myself a area with a broken right there. Okay, let's look around here. Why is that broken? I'm not understanding. What is that? What's that? Pattern chest? Okay, I don't know what this stuff is. But I want it. Um, let's mark down this village. Build it. Village number one. Okay. Alright, let's see before we move on if there's any other places. Or before we head back home, I want to see if there's other stuff here. Um, like a apiary area. So I can get some free apiaries. What's in here? What is this, another pattern chest? Some tool stations? Um, part builder? A piston, some more bone knife blades. So I have to learn more about, um, oh, hey there, Zom or Spider. I have to learn more about that mod, Tinker's Construct, before I really get into anything. That guy has an axe in the back of his head. What's in here? Some iron pans, stuff like that. So, yeah, I need to get more into Tinker's Construct. What was that guy trading? For an uh, iron ore berry bush, 23 pistons. Why? <laughs> See, do you have any anything in here, or are you just having huge orgy in here? I use some glowstone to here. Ooh, some night ore. And some alumenta, alumentum, and that. Sweet. See, there's a lot of chests in this village, actually. Hey, creeper, creeper. Thank you for exposing that coal. Uh, let's see, let's just break our way in. There may not be anything in here. Yeah. So this is a lot of stuff going on right now. Uh, we should probably head back to the house. Uh, let's do that in there, that in there for now. And um, let's clear out our inventory and come back. Okay, so that's pretty much full too. Uh, we got a bunch of sand, which is nice. Um, this can go in here, that can go into here. And the rest of that, let's just dump in there. Um, I got a few raw, so there we go. Let's cook some of that up before heading back. Portal gun. Take this alumin, alumentum and nitor. Throw it in here as well. Let's eat this. Ah, uh, sleep the night. I'm hungry. All right, and while well, let's add it, let's see, let's grab some coal. And let's go, let's take our minium stone. Let's put that there, that there. All right. So that's a cool trick that I learned about minium stones. I didn't know that until like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> it still uses coal though, so. Let's see, let's grab some more food. That should be enough. And let's head back. Okay. Now that it's daytime here, we can actually explore a little bit. What was that, a carrot? Okay, so nothing in there. Uh, let's definitely grab this coal, because coal's very valuable to me. Especially since I have no power right now, coal's like 
priceless right now. What are you, maple? What do you want? Let's head into this guy's house, see what he's selling. Why are you, why is your door so high? What do you have up here, just maple? Okay. Are you selling anything, son? All right, stupid stuff. What are you selling? Cooked fish. All right, this guy seems like he has, I think I've been in here. Let's head up here, see what we can see. All right. So, doesn't look like it has a loot area other than what we can find. That's really cool. Now let's grab some more of these cows because it'll be a good food source right now. Um, but, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have anywhere else. And I don't know quite how to use Tinker's Construct yet. So, once I figure that out, we can come back and utilize what we've found. I wonder if there's anything up there. No. Let's get this cow over here, too. Is that uranium I just saw down there? Yeah, that's uranium. New ore miner. Alright, let's grab this iron as well before we head back. Honestly, they're, the amount of veins of iron, like, these things are insane. The amount of iron you find in a vein here, or in this pack. Yesterday, I found a vein of 13 or 14. This one, I think, might even be bigger. Alright, let's see how big this vein was. Because I didn't have any iron on me before. I may have had one piece, actually. 24. That's a huge vein of iron. Alright, before we really leave this, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I've been in this house. That's the one I broke into. There was nothing in that house. Um, there wasn't an apiary area. Now, I've been in this house. I've been in that house. I've been, or looked in this house. This was that broken one. Um, I'm pretty sure I've been everywhere in this village. So, we should head back. And once I figure out how to use Tinker's Construct, I keep saying this, but once I figure out how to use it, then we will use it. And we'll come back here and we'll deal with it. So let's get back to the house. And, um... I'm still looking for clay, so I will be back once I find some more clay. Found the clay, and heading back home, and we can keep going on our work. Alright, so definitely going to throw some more leather into there. Or, not leather, what is that? Raw beef. And let's grab our minium, minium stone again. And clay. And let's work on this. So, minium stone, um, coal... And then clay. That. Uh, let's grab some more coal. And take that nether brick any day. Uh, coal. Minium stone. Clay. Boom. Alright. Let's throw that back in there. Um, iron ore can go in there. That can go in there. Mud. I don't know why we have it, so let's just throw it. Okay, now what we can do is have this. Uh, we need that sand. Where did I place that sand? There it is. Um, so it goes like this, like that, like that, like that. And we got a fair amount of it. We're still definitely going to need more, which sucks. But we got a good amount of it, so... I'm going to start placing this down, and I'll be back again. Alright guys, look at how this is coming along. As you guys can see, started this over here, and I'm I'm actually loving it. Um, the more and more we get along in it, the better it looks. The only annoying thing is, like, I don't even know how long this video is, but it's already 
I mean, look at how far we've gotten. This has taken this long, and we've gotten, I don't even know how far. <laughs> we've done all that, we've done this, started this, or I guess we did finish the flooring. It's nighttime, we did this out here. So, I think I'm going to call this video a wrap, and I'm going to finish this all off on camera. Uh, you guys get the idea of what's going to happen now. I'll do um, this part right here next time on camera, but you guys get the idea of what's going to happen now, and uh, I'll finish it all off. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please leave a rating? Let me know how I did, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.